Um, Brian Tennis, this is New Mission Organics, also the processing facility for a statewide organization called the Michigan Hop Alliance. Michigan Hop Alliance helps a lot of uh, smaller farmers from around northern Michigan uh, help process their hops. If they've got like a half acre or you know, one or two acres, they can't really afford all the processing equipment. So what we'll do is we'll buy their crop process it through here and then we'll sell it for them just hand them a check instead of them having to buy you know like a fifty thousand dollar picking machine we'll just run it through here we wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for the SARE grant that's for sure because it's um it's magnificent I mean, this is you know we're one of the few farms in uh, in the country doing a short trellis and i don't know if we would have really had um that much money to play with to do it um, MSU five five or six years ago they had a seminar on on um, sustainable crops and doing um, just other other crops other than cherries and apples and stone fruit and one of it one of the ideas that came up with with this area would be hops so we jumped on the bandwagon being craft beer fans we've always had a a real love for you know craft beer even when we were broke we we always bought good beer just, just not a lot of it but you know and when, when we found out we could actually grow hops we're like well you know we'll give it a shot and we put in one acre and then eventually um you know one thing led to another and we had to the, somehow figure out how to process it because you can't really hand pick anything over a quarter acre so we came up with the Michigan Hop Alliance. It's basically a group of individuals who pulled their money to get the equipment, you know, because we obviously couldn't afford to do it on ourselves. So pulled our resources, bought a, a wolf machine from Germany, brought that over here, and then hammer mill, pelletizer, vacuum sealer. We built our own oast. So this basically is a, a self-contained hop farm now. We can go from this this yard, process in this facility, this uh, this facility and then turn around and sell everything so it's all self-contained this is uh, the property that we're on right now was originally intended to be a, uh, a subdivision somebody bought 40 acres they put in a road they ran electricity and they had it all rezoned back into residential and where we're at in Lelaw Township you've got to have at least uh, 10 acres in order to for you to have a house on it. So they divided the four acres into 10 acre parcels. They were gonna sell it. And this was 2002, 2003, whenever they did that. And the housing market at that time was you know, starting to tank. So they never could get off the ground with it. So we eventually bought 30 of the 40 acres and had it rezoned back into ag. So when we bought this parcel, there was no, no wells or uh, barn or, or tractors or anything like that we originally bought it just to camp on and one thing led to another there was uh, three acres of organic cherries that was that was on here which is probably why the land was so cheap everybody knew what they were getting into so we're like yeah we'll give it a shot so we're actually living in Grand Rapids a couple hours south of here and we were driving back every weekend taking care of it and you know, one thing led to another and we moved up here and we pushed the cherries out a couple of years ago and just replanted it with hops. The yard that we're looking at right here is one of the few um, short trellis systems that you'll see in the United States. One is we're lucky enough to get the, uh, the variety Summit, which is a proprietary hop. There's only six or seven farms in the United States that can legally grow it. And through a, a grant program that we are working with the USDA, uh, Michigan State University, Washington State University, and the University of Vermont, one of the growers in that study that we are working with, uh, Roy Farms, they held the patent to, to Summit. So we basically begged them to you know, put in a few acres up here. And they're like, well, you know, for, first six times we asked them, they said no. And then the seventh time, I think they just got sick and tired of us bugging them. So they said, yeah, we can do it as long as it's, you know, like a limited planting. They didn't want us to put in, you know, a thousand acres of it because it would basically dilute their market. It was actually uh, bred and developed to be a semi-dwarf variety. So it only gets to be uh, 10 or 12 feet tall. So the sidearms are a lot shorter and they're more compact, but you can get over 2,000 pounds an acre with Summit. 
It's uh, it's just a really big yielder, and it's a su super high alpha hop too. It's a uh, it's a really gnarly hop. It's got characteristics of green onion, garlic, tangerine, lemon. I mean, you walk through the through the hop yard right before harvest, and you you can smell all those different different fragrances in the yard. But it's a it's a crazy hop to grow, and it's perfect for us because it's so cheap. Uh, to put in, you know, an acre of short trellis because you're just looking at one wire basically down the whole line. And the poles are, you know, poles are only 14, 16 feet deep. So you drill down maybe three or four feet, drop a pole in it, and then keep going. Whereas tall trellis, poles are a lot more expensive. There's a lot more wiring involved, and it's a little more difficult to put the poles in place. Stronger. Most of this stuff is second and third year plants like the big bushy ones those are third year but we do have some some holes where we had to replant this year but the and we had to start with rhizomes too because it's a proprietary hop it's not like we could get um, rhizomes or, or plants from anybody else so we had to get the root cuttings from the guys who hold who held the patent and the first year we tried um, just putting in rhizomes and rhizomes you know, at best, your propagation rate is you know, maybe 75, 80%. The first year we put in Summit, our propagation rate was maybe 20 or 25%, which was crushing because you do all that work, you plant the rhizomes, and then you walk through six weeks or eight weeks later, and nothing's coming up. And so what we did this year, we got rhizomes again from from the source, but we potted them, potted them up and stuck them in a greenhouse for, for two months. So by the time we turn around and take those rhizomes, put them in the ground, they're a pretty established plant. So the propagation rates that we're dealing with now are pretty close to 100%. I mean, some of it is great. It's a fantastic hop, and we'll just keep planting short trellis, but we also want to experiment with some other short trellis varieties. Um, there's a tea maker that we we now can get. We, we haven't been able to up until recently, but there's also a couple of varieties over in England that are semi-dwarf varieties that we're trying to get our hands on. So far, it hasn't been, uh, we haven't been successful, but as long as you have the, the, the plant, short trellis is definitely the way to go, but the key is getting the plant. The thing about the way we harvest, we'll just do like one rope here, whereas opposed out in Yakima Valley where they've got, I don't know, seven or 800 acres of this, they'll actually have combines that drive over the top of the rows and knock the cones off, kind of like a cherry picker. But that piece of equipment is a half a million dollars. So we're just making this work now. Beginning of the summer, we'll go here, go through here. We'll drop ropes on the entire yard, and then we'll train the plant. And then in a couple weeks here, probably mid-September or so, we'll just go through here, cut the bottoms, and then cut the tops and throw them on a, um, a converted hay wagon that we've got and just run it through this barn and the wolf machine will strip the cones off of it. So we don't, we don't have to do any hand picking it. Fortunately, um, now in, in Grand Rapids, there's the Grand Rapids Brewing Company. It's the first certified organic brewery in Michigan. So we now actually have a market for the product. When we first started, you know, five years ago, this would be our fifth year growing hops. We, grew them organically, you know, just because this farm was an organic farm to begin with, and it's just something we believed in, so we kept going, even though we didn't have a market. Most of this will go to um, Grand Rapids Brewing Company or to uh, Brewery Vivant and to Shorts over in uh, Elk Rapids. They're not certified organic brewery, but they, they love the hop so much that they'll, they'll pay the premium to get it.